the following presentation is being presented by Myra Ariano, Shauna Holguin, Angelica Jaime, Alyssa Massa, Christine Partisala, and Kayla Silva. So what is hepatitis C? It is a disease of the liver caused by hepatitis C virus. It is spread through contact with blood from an infected person. It can either be short-term or a chronic infection. Risk factors of hepatitis C. People who are at particular risk of hepatitis C include children born to women infected with hepatitis C virus, healthcare personnel, and public safety worker after needle stick injuries or mucosal exposure to blood, multiple contacts with a hepatitis C virus infected person, people who are sexually active with multiple partners, history of sexual transmitted infection, unprotected sex, those who use IV or injection drugs and patients who receive blood products or organ transplant before 1992 or clotting factors concentrate before 1987. Hi everybody, my name is Kayla and I'm going to be talking about some of the dangerous and painful complications that you may see if someone is infected with hepatitis C. We now know what hep C is. We learned in the past slides that it is a virus that attacks the liver. We also know the many ways it can be transmitted and the risk factors for contracting it. So now we will talk about the complications that can happen when someone is infected with hepatitis C. But first, in order to understand the complications better, let's talk about what normal liver function of a healthy person looks like. Our liver has several functions. It helps our body absorb nutrients from food, it then stores nutrients and vitamins to be used at a later time when needed. Our liver makes and stores sugar for energy use and the liver is responsible for removing harmful chemicals from our body as well. So needless to say, when our liver is unable to work normally due to a disease like Hep C, there are many complications that will arise. So one complication is cirrhosis. Cirrhosis is actually a term used which means scarring of the liver. This does not happen quickly and overnight, but rather over time. The hep C virus slowly damages the liver, causing inflammation, which leads to permanent irreversible scarring. Healthy liver tissue is replaced by hard scar tissue, and this can block blood flow through the liver. When the liver does not get that nutrient oxygen rich blood and the added inflammation and scar tissue, the liver cannot perform its much needed task of absorbing nutrients and removing those harmful chemicals from the body. This then leads us to our next complication that arises with hepatitis C infection, and that's liver failure. When the liver stops working properly, the liver will go into liver failure or end stage liver disease. Many times liver failure occurs due to cirrhosis. Our next complication is liver cancer. Cancer happens when cells in your body begin to grow out of control. Chronic hepatitis and cirrhosis are risk factors for liver cancer and people with hep C related cirrhosis have a higher risk for liver cancer than those who have cirrhosis that is related to heavy alcohol consumption. Liver cancer is very similar to the complications that you would see with liver failure. Normal liver function does not happen and the body gets a buildup of toxic chemicals and with liver cancer, you then go into liver failure. I will now turn it over to my fellow classmates to go over signs and symptoms of hepatitis C. Thank you. Hello class, Shauna Holguin here. I'm gonna be going over the symptoms of hepatitis C. So during the first six months of infection, which is considered the acute phase, most people might have mild illness or uh, show no symptoms at all. But during the chronic phase, that's when the symptoms start to show, which include jaundice, early bruising or bleeding, uh, dark colored urine or light colored stools, fatigue, abdominal pain, loss of appetite, nausea, diarrhea, fever, ascites. Um, they could have a star shaped uh, vein pattern developing on the swollen belly and also itching. Hepatitis C is diagnosed through a blood test called HCV antibody test or anti-HCV test. This test looks for antibodies to the hepatitis C virus in the blood. 
A non-reactive or negative test result means that you are not currently infected with the hepatitis C virus, but if you were exposed to the virus within the last six months, you will need to be tested again. A reactive or positive result means you have been infected with the virus at some point in time, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you currently have hepatitis C and a follow-up test is needed. This test is called the nucleic acid test, NAT for HCV RNA, or PCR test. If the NAT for HCV RNA test is negative, it means you were infected with the hepatitis C virus, but the virus is no longer in the body because you were cured or your body cleared the virus naturally. If the results are positive, then it means you have the virus in the blood and treatment will be needed. Treatment for hepatitis C depends on several factors such as how much virus is in the body, genotype or strain of hepatitis C, liver damage, other health conditions, and your response to any previous treatments for hepatitis C. Hepatitis C infection treatment consists of antiviral medication. Your doctor may recommend one medication or a combination of two to three medications to be taken for eight to 24 weeks or longer. These medications fall into two categories, pan-genotypic medications, which treats all genotypes and genotype specific. These medications help by clearing the hepatitis C virus from the bloodstream, slow down progression of inflammation and scarring of liver and reduce the chances of developing cirrhosis and liver cancer. A liver transplant will usually be considered when the liver is working at approximately 10 to 20% of what is considered normal. The transplant does not cure the disease and the virus can still infect the donated liver. Some of the interventions that we have for hepatitis C include providing education on ways to prevent transmission to others. This includes not sharing personal items such as razors, nail clippers, or toothbrushes properly disposing needles after a single use, and not to donate blood. We will encourage dietary changes, which include avoiding or limiting intake of saturated fats, sugary, salty, and iron-rich foods. To prevent further complications, we will educate on the importance of certain lifestyle changes such as cessation of alcohol consumption and avoiding the use of illicit drugs. And finally, we will instruct to check with their healthcare provider before taking any over-the-counter medications such as acetaminophen and supplements as these can have some harmful effects to the liver. Hello everybody, my name is Myra and today I will be discussing community resources available in San Joaquin County for Hepatitis C. So there were three testing centers that I found in Stockton. They all belong to the community medical centers. They are just in different locations and different phone numbers. They're also free to low cost. So if you have any questions, you can contact them at the phone numbers seen on this slide. Other resources that I found was the National Hepatitis C Helpline. Their phone number is 877-435 7443. And again, that's the phone number for the National Hepatitis C Helpline, where you can call if you have questions that regarding to help hepatitis C, how you can get help. Also, there was another website that I found um, in regards to finding different resources, such as different locations for testing centers. If you need any financial assistance, there are different programs for that as well. Also, just if you need help with getting started with hepatitis C information. And their website is www.cdph.ca.gov forward slash programs forward slash CID forward slash DCDC forward slash pages forward slash OVHP dot ASPX. And again, you can see this on my slide. And finally, I one of the things that um, that might be coming in handy 
when it comes to dealing with a new disorder is getting a support group. So I found this support group where you can post things online. Um, they have forums, they have discussions, they have um, support groups for videos or on the phone. And this is from the American Liver Foundation and their website is www.inspire.com forward slash groups forward slash American dash liver dash foundation forward slash. Thank you so much for watching.